Cells are the building blocks of life. They are responsible for the growth, repair and maintenance of our bodies. But how do the necessary molecules and substances get into and out of the cell? This process is called transport and there are two types of transport, active transport and passive transport. In passive transport, substances move from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration without using energy. In active transport, energy is required to move substances against their concentration gradient. In this video, we will be focusing on passive transport. The cell membrane is made up of phospholipid bilayer with embedded proteins. The phospholipids have a hydrophilic head and hydrophobic tail which creates a barrier that separates the inside and outside of the cell. There are three types of passive transport, simple diffusion, facilitated diffusion and osmosis. In simple diffusion, molecules move directly through the membrane. In facilitated diffusion, proteins help larger or charged molecules move through the membrane. And in osmosis, water molecules move through the membrane to balance the concentration of solutes. Examples of passive transport in the body include the movement of oxygen and carbon dioxide across the cell membrane, the absorption of nutrients in the digestive system and the regulation of water in the kidneys. Passive transport is crucial for maintaining the proper balance of molecules in the body. If you liked our video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.